Hello everyone, my name is Funnyhan and welcome back to another episode of Random Indie Games. So today we're playing Cadence, which is a programming puzzle music game. Yeah, that's a very weird description. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so the mechanic of this game is quite simple. So you have this like start note over here and you want to play it so that it reaches the end. So in this case, we want we just want to do that and then play it. Quite simple now, isn't it? All right, now we are going to get a twist. Okay, so there is a reason why this game is classified as a programming. It actually teaches you about the logic gates. And logic gates are ba are basically the components of what makes the computer run so if you break down a computer until like the tiniest bit you have these logic gates so okay, let's let me demonstrate let me demonstrate okay as, and as you can see here that this thing can only be unlocked once we pass it by a certain number in this case it's two so we need to give like two signal to this one so that the signal itself can be passed on so, in order to do that, we need to trigger it twice, and in order to do that, we create a loop. Now, the uh, the beat from the first uh, first trigger here is still just once, so by looping this, we create it double. And there you go. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, so at the end of the level, the music just kind of cut off immediately, and I apologize in advance for that. <laughs> So again, we just need to loop this four times, so... There you go. Sorry! <laughs> okay, so now we are going to enter with is the first uh, actual logic gate in this game. So, this is what we call end gate. So, an end gate, and as in like, a and B. So and gate will only pass on signal if both of the input is true. You can imagine that receiving the signal is called true and not receiving the signal on that uh, time is called false. So if we receive like both signal at the same time, it will open. And there we go. So that's an and gate. Uh, now we put what we learned so far into combination. So here we have an end gate. Here we need to make a loop. So how do we do this? So, uh, we already know that end gate requires two input, right? So it's either this input over here, or it can be this input over here, or it can be this input over here. You cannot make diagonals. And actually the timing matters because if you create something like this, which means that this signal will deliver this on the second beat. So one, two is going to deliver that. And this one is going to deliver the signal at one, two, three, four. That's not going to work. You can see there. So what we need to do is we need to deliver the signal at the same time, which is, I think, is only possible by this arrangement. There you go. Ah oh, no, that's terrible sound. <laughs> Sometimes the game's kind of lags when it loads like new level. Ah, uh, just bear with me. Okay, just same as usual uh, as the previous one. Now we have an end gate. We need to make a loop. So end gate can only be made with this one. So this two is already there. And uh, I think we need to make a loop here and this one, right? I think so. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> oh no, that sounds terrible. Okay. And by the way, for those of you who are asking, yes, I have a major in computer science, so I know uh, this kind of programming stuff. All right. Uh, but that doesn't make it that you cannot learn it. Uh, programming is actually really easy. But if you really want to get like a degree, then you can enter like a programming major, like a computer science. But you don't need to have like a computer major to be able to learn programming. It's in fact, I actually learned programming when I was in high school, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we have right now a bypass, so this bypass uh, will deliver signals from one end to the other end immediately, so there we go. Uh, but the problem here that we need to also create a loop though, so 
the only possible way that you can create a loop is through this place, right? So there's only like four there. And do this, do this, all right. There you go. <laughs> and you kind of start to notice that each level has their own set of like tones. And which lets me to believe that all of these levels are actually like handfully crafted. And it's actually quite amazing. <laughs> they do not create like a procedural generation to create all of this because obviously procedural generation would be a terrible idea to create a music, right? Okay, so this is a delay over here. So it will deliver the signals, but after an X amount of beat. So let me demonstrate. One, two, three, four. There you go. So uh, again, with the delay, this is going to be really useful for the end because if you may notice here that uh, the step to get to this thing is quite long. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's quite long right there. And if you come from here, so the beat required is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is just for the end gate. Because honestly, there's nothing else that you can do. It is impossible for you to do this. The signal won't just go in to pass through. So, and this loop on the right side is just for the loop. So let's do that. Oh, I forgot to connect it. What a dumb dumb. <laughs> There you go. All right, now we move on to the next one. Okay, so this is what we called a uh, switch. I think I think that's a flip flop. Oh, is, it, is it a switch? Let me demonstrate. Okay, and you can see here that this uh, one is actually lit right now, but it will not deliver the signal because it needs to receive the second one. So in this case, we can just like create a uh, bypass over here. So. There you go. Uh, you cannot like uh, give it like two signals at the same time. It has to be a different beat. So one bit, two bit. Okay, there you go. All right. So uh, same thing as before. I think this one is just uh, basically uh, you need to trigger it twice, but at different intervals. So let's count that. One, two, three. This one is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, but you also need to loop it though. So after this loop over here, I'm going to run it back here. So it runs back there. There we go. All right, so, oh God, we got a uh, quite complicated one this time. Okay, so now we're going to combine everything. We have a bypass, we have a loop, we have the switch, we have an end statement. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be a doozy. Right, so I think it has to be this too. Uh, I don't think there's any other thing that we can do there. Uh, we need to do this once and then do this twice. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, uh, next one, we have, oh, an instant end statement. So one, mm, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Uh, so it cannot be this one, right? Unless, of course, we want to create a loop, which we do. So I think it's this one. Uh, so we trigger that and then trigger that again so that it delivers the signal. But we need it at the same time, though. So, hmm. Okay, uh, this one is actually pretty weird, is it this one? Okay, yeah. Uh, well, I guess that's basically how a puzzle works, right? Once you familiarize yourself with the mechanic, then you will start to develop an intuition which lets you solve the puzzle faster. So you don't need to make a full think at the same time. Okay, so for this one, I think this means that you instantly lose the level. Let me uh, check that. 
Okay, so yeah, you instantly lose. So we don't want a double signal here. So, uh, what are we supposed to do here? Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, it, it apparently it's possible. This is just a glitch, apparently. But wait. No. Huh. So, I need to deliver this at the same time. Nope, you're dead. Oh, I see. So, single only sends if exactly one pulse is received. Oh, okay, so I was right. I was right. There is a new mechanic here uh, that is introduced, and that is like a terrible time though to introduce a like, new mechanic. Alright, so I need to give two signals at the same time to this guy. And uh, that is easier said than done. Oh wait, is it? Is that it? Oh, it's- oh, oh. Oh my god! Oh boy, that is really hard! So, uh, we are good. <laughs> oh boy, that is- oh my god, what the heck is this monstrosity? Uh, and- oh wow, there is- oh my- oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Hmm. Mm, I think this is too big brain for me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's return to the main menu because there is one more feature that I need to uh, to uh, give you to you guys. So uh, you may see here that the second mode is called a create, and this is basically you can create a level by yourself. Which is, by the way, I have to note that the UI in this one is actually really good. <laughs> I like this like uh, simplistic minimalist style of UI. And uh, let's see what let's see if we can create something here. State, where is it? Oh, okay, there you go. Okay, this is yeah. But again, I'm not quite big brain to create any kind of new level, so I'm just here to play the game. So the community has created some kind of like uh, this. Uh, well, there are only six of here. Oh, okay. So this feature is not available to the demo. But uh, just you know, just so you know that this is actually possible. All right, so uh, yeah, that is Cadence. <laughs> a programming puzzle that is like too hard for my brain to digest. So, if I have any criticism for this game, it's probably that, okay, that level uh, that we are stuck for so long, it is not a great idea to introduce a new mechanic on like a very complicated style. You, you should like just introduce the mechanic with like a simplistic setup first before you combine it with the same uh, with the uh, other elements that you have already introduced. But aside from that, I think it's good. I kind of I kind of like it. It's kind of like a simplistic approach. It has music. Uh, it has like puzzles, and you can create like your puzzles with the communities and. Yeah, I mean, this is probably like going to be the next portal. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy this game as much as I do. Uh, if you like this game, don't forget to go to the description down below. There is a link to the Steam description where you can wishlist it and probably get it once the game comes out. Uh, if Mario Maker teaches me anything, it is that uh, our community is always a sadistic mother trucker. <laughs> That is there to just torture another people. So I want to see what kind of abomination you guys can create. <laughs> uh, yeah, and if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, I usually upload this kind of videos where I play some obscure and small indie games from around the internet every Monday and Tuesday. And I also play indie games from start to finish on Wednesday and Thursday. If you like to see more of this indie game goodnesses, uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be notified whenever I make a new upload. And with that, I think I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.